Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play East 1. I decided to start off at Tim's Pond today because we needed to get the wing and the mirror before we went to the uh, abandoned mines. So, not so much the mirror, but we do need the wing for sure. I do recommend getting both of these just because it will make the abandoned mine a lot easier. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the abandoned mines now, and I will cut to there. I will see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so back at the abandoned mines, first thing I'll recommend doing is equipping the shield ring. This will make your ability in this dungeon to defend much easier, I believe. By the end of this dungeon, you should be fully leveled up, by the way. Now, in this dungeon, you want to go down this way first. You should get your first treasure box right here, I believe. No, that's not the one. Kind of out of order. The timer ring is something you need to find, though, but I believe there is another treasure box we need to get. There it is. The heal potion as well. The abandoned mine can be somewhat of a difficult dungeon to traverse. So, just kind of get used to this place being a bit awkward. I did a few test runs of this, that's why I took this video a few days to get made. Because I was really concerned about how this dungeon would turn out if I didn't. Okay, and the last one, pretty close to the other chest. That should be right there. Cool. Silver armor. This is the best armor you can get right now. Equip that immediately. Out here, you can heal. Do it. Just let yourself heal. You're gonna be just fine out here. Okay, so continuing forward, cross the bridge, obviously. And then, just head down to the next floor of the dungeon. The next thing you want to find is a room kind of with a door. Here we are. That's what we're looking for. Cool. Right here. Heel ring. This ring is great. The timer ring, I don't recommend using. It's not that useful. It just slows enemy speed. I think if you're defending, you should be fine there. T heal ring. Allows you to heal in a dungeon by standing still. This is a great item. So get yourself to an area where you're probably safe and you can heal just fine. Next up, we're going to go back to the shield. Just because we're not going to... I don't see any point of keeping it up if we're... So you want to go down this way, I believe. The Silver Harmonica. Cool. That is good. This is going really smoothly. I like that. And then there's one more thing on this floor you're going to need. And then after that... After that, we shall use the feather. Now, the quickest way to get to this item is actually to go around this way and in here. Real quick, I'm just going to heal up. Another thing I need to teach you is if you put the heal ring in an area where you can heal, you're going to heal twice as fast. It's really convenient. I love it. So equip the shield ring again. And then you get the Rota seed for tree seed. Okay, so now that we got all of these items, you want to go here, take the feather, just teleport. And you're going to be exactly where you want to be. Another thing you want to do, 
Just go ahead and eat the rotatory fruit. So, now that we got the harmonica, you want to go up here. So now we give the poem to Rhea. That's when he wanted to give it to her anyway. So. This will give us something. Eternity Eastern Sky is drained. Red, the western sky is blue. Between the land and shade, my dreams are borrowed in here. I hear the melodies of Birdie, and I. Cool. I don't know what that says. I, I mean, I know what it says. It's just kind of shows up a bit odd on my screen. The wheel has fate is beginning turning once more. Play you and I. That is heading towards something. Very important. The next thing you want to do is find the root of tree. Either or. There's two of them on this map. I want to go to the one most convenient to us, but there are two. I guess. So you go down this way. Leap up here. Yeah, up here. We were getting close. Here we are. Cool. You should get this cutscene. You understand our words. My name is Ruta. I am one of the twin trees born of the goddesses in the time of East. My leaves have felt the joyous timber. The melody can awaken even the forest itself. It brings back so many memories. Oh, swordsman. Travel ye to my brother, for at his feet lies the silver blade. Cool. So I'm going to cut back to uh, the field outside of Zepic, because this is where this one would be. I don't know, Zepic. The way you want to go is out here, and then just continue south. I don't know it's off there, but... <laughs> cool. You go just south this way, yeah? And at the feet of the Ruta tree, down this way. 
And you must do this. This is necessary to beat the game, just to mention. If you do not do this, you are practically... Well, I don't even think you can get to the final area without doing this. So, you go to the second root tree, get the same cutscene, I believe. Ah. Well, similar. Darkness again stirs in the world. It brings another nightmare to East. Oh, swordsman. The journey begins now. Thy journey begins now, sorry. The silver light beckons by with hope and destruction. Lose not thy way. Lose not thy will. Leave thy heart open to the possibilities. Silver light began to spill out from the groots of the great tree. Silver sword has been bestowed. That is great. So let's go ahead and equip the silver sword. I will meet you guys back at the abandoned mine. All right, so back on the uh, sec the uh, first basement floor. This is pretty easy to get through. Just want to go. I believe down here, and you should find the next steps to the next floor. Real quick. This floor. By the end of this floor, you want to be level ten. I may have to do some off-green grinding, but if you cannot beat, but you will probably have a hard time beating this boss if you are not level ten. Even with the silver shrill. Level up, incredible. You will need this to enter the final area. Heal up real quick. Cool. Alright, so now that we're back to moving around, it's a very straightforward on this floor. Right down here, if you are low on health, there's a heal potion. You can only carry one at a time, though, so if you want to, go ahead and use yours up here. There's going to be more in the game anyway, so I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Alright, so now that we're at the boss door, I am going to off-screen for a few seconds so I can get myself up to level 10. That way the boss isn't like... Murdering me and stuff. This boss is considered the hardest in the game. 
So I'll see you guys once I'm done with grinding. So now that we have gotten, I have saved, and I recommend equipping the heal potion. That's all I can really say here. Use the Darm Key, go in. This boss is going to be really difficult, I mean it. This is probably the hardest boss in the game. Damn. I don't know the clear strategy to this one. All I know is it just seems that running corner to corner seems to help. So just keep doing that. Keep running corner to corner. Oh, got him. Just keep that up. It's a good strategy, I think. It seems to have worked every time I've done this boss. Got it. I say after one more hit, I go ahead and heal up. I'm gonna need to use the heal potion, that's the better question. I think we're gonna be able to do it without the heal potion. We'll see though, something could screw me over at any moment. <laughs> uh, there we go. Got him! <sighs> Hardest boss in the game. Didn't do too bad, I don't think. <laughs> see what's in here. Got the Book of Yeast. And in here... Well... Nothing I can do about that. I believe that is the entrance to... Dorm Tower, don't quote me there. Anyway, I'll be you guys back at the entrance of the dungeon. Alright, so back in the town of Minia, the only thing I'm going to recommend doing, and this isn't a requirement like I said, but I do recommend it. It will help you. Go to Dios Armor. Go to Shield. And I believe you buy the large shield, yes. I know what you're thinking. Well, I already have the silver shield. Why would I need the large shield? And you will see. That's all I can say is you will see. So I will see you guys back in the town of Zepic. So back in the town of Zepic, one other thing we can do real quick is get the third book of East Red. What is this one called? So, read Volume Dobby. So, it was in the abandoned mine. How peculiar. The Book of Dobby. I speak now as the disaster of Yis. 
he rose suddenly and attacked our city. He called forth molten stone from the bowels of the world to burn our fields and trap us in a sea of fire. It was terrible and absolute. One by one, our proud nations were blown away, were blown out like candles, and darkness and chaos stole over our world. Surely the Clario was the cause. Was it not the harbinger of darkness? Thus we sealed it within the darkness, in the ground, so that hope may shine anew. Forget it now, and never lay hands upon it again. And now Sarah's death. I'm starting all the stones from Destiny. You're the only one who has the ability to... Cool. So, one more thing. Talk to Fina. <laughs> Hey all, I can never thank you enough for rescuing me from that prison cell. It feels really good to be free. I still can't remember anything by name though. Who am I? What have I done with my life? And why was I locked in that cell in the first place? I don't know the answer to any of it. But I only know I only know the name. My name is Fina and I've been a prisoner. Why can't I remember anything more? Uh, she's actually as of this point regained her memory. But doesn't really want to speak to Adol about at all about it. So you want to talk to Chiba about one thing. Okay, that's weird. One minute. Okay, so I figured out it's a group of specific steps you have to follow, and it's it's weird, but. No big deal. So now you want to speak to Jiba again. Or speak to Fina. There are six books of ace. The remaining are in Darm Tower. The Devil's Tower, they call it. It dates back as far as the Shrine. If you go there, I recommend you speak with my son, Gobin. He should be able to show you the way in. You are an accomplished swordsman. Indeed, you are the hero Sarah for Saw, the legendary brave Saw. I commend you for coming this far. I'm certain that you will be able to be all right, even in the Devil's Tower. Cool. I'll cut back to Thieves' Den. So, back at the Thieves' Den, you speak to Gobin. My mother told me everything. In order to find the remaining books of East, you have to enter the tower. Since the day the storm wall first showed up, the tower has been teeming with demonic s centuries. Our band of thieves tried to get things under control in there, but suffered heavy, heavy casualties. They were too strong, too many, we had no choice but to fall back. My right hand man, Dogi, has also gone missing. He's in there, but I can't even say if he's still alive. Darm Tower is unbelievably dangerous. It's an unbelievably dangerous place. If you haven't already gotten that, it's most definitely not for the faint of heart. Hmm. If you truly master the silver equipment, the sword especially, then you must might stand, stand a chance. Very well. I'll open the gate for you. So, as I had stated before, this is the point of no return. The door is one way only. Once you're inside, you will be unable to go out, to get back out. It's also completely soundproof, so if you scream for dear life, it ain't gonna wake us up from our naps. I'd say at most you should limit your you should be limited to one day in there. Make sure you're back here by tomorrow morning. With or without the books of ease. I'll reopen the door and let you in out when the sun rises. Alright, get going and try not to get yourself killed in there. Next time on Let's Play East One. We will explore Darm Tower. See you guys then.